Alright, so today I'm going to show you guys how to remove the headlights and the grill. One of these EJs. Alright, so we're going to start by removing the grill. There's three Phillips head screws total. One here, one here, and one right here. We're going to take those off first. Alright, now that your last screw's out, let's set this up here with the rest of them where you won't lose them. Pull back on the grill and lift out. <coughs> Set that off to the side. So first we're going to want to remove this 10 millimeter bolt holding the headlight assembly in. Just give it a firm tug. It's going to sound like you're breaking it. It's just the plastic pieces coming apart. Alright, well the camera died. So, I'm going to start where we left off. It's going to sound like something broken here. Um, there are plastic clips that hold these in. I believe you can buy replacements for these from the parts store. And if you buy new lenses, it should come with them. So next you're going to want to get a Phillips head screwdriver and remove that Phillips head screw. There's another Phillips head screw in here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. What you're going to want to do is take your screwdriver in there. And go ahead and start removing that screw. Once that's removed, this lens should pop out. You can retrieve the screw. You can disconnect this bulb and set the lens off to the side. Next you're going to remove this screw and there's another screw down in there as well. Now you can grab this assembly, pull out, disconnect that one, as well as disconnect that bulb, and it just slides right out. Now if you're wanting to replace this as well, what you're going to do is grab a 10 millimeter wrench, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. While you're already right here, you can grab this, give it a nice little tug. You're going to have those ready because they're going to need to fish through the openings. Now you want to grab your 15 millimeter socket. Go ahead and remove those. WD-40 when necessary.
repeat to the other side. You will have a bolt up here as well that my Jeep does not have. Um, I'll have to grab one from the junkyard as well as over here. Now you have another one of those plastic holders as well as a disconnect. I'm going to go ahead and remove the plastic holder since I plan to reuse this wire. Make sure when you reinstall this, this bracket and this plastic piece are notched to spit together. Alright, we're going to start by reinstalling the turn signals. Now from your turn signals, you want to go ahead and grab this. Now this wire is going to tuck up into that hole. going to reinstall this is the longest screw from the whole assembly and that's going to go into the bottom you want to install that one first because it's going to draw it tight on itself all right the cameras get pretty low on battery so basically what you're going to do is line up all those pins from earlier got them all lined up that can be kind of difficult just give it a good push you should hear it click a couple of times you're gonna reinstall this top screw after you're all said and done and lastly reinstall this 10